Okay, for this first step, we want to prep our photocopy that we have here that is regular size sheet of paper. It's not your small impossible shape. Set that one to the side. He, you're just going to look at him as a reference. We want to get this big one ready. We're going to actually transfer this on to your piece of 10 by 10 mat board that I gave you. So take your copy, flip it over. You should be able to lightly, if you hold it up and, and it's light outside, if, it's, if you're in a dark room, it's gonna be tough. You wanna just kind of loosely outline with your pencil where that shape falls on the other side of the paper. It's important to get it a little bit beyond the edges of where you can see that printing coming through the paper. Roughly, that's what I'm looking at, okay? I don't wanna have to shade, I'm gonna take my pencil and shade in where the image itself is, but I don't need to go where there's white paper because that would be pointless. So I'm gonna just shade in. I'm gonna turn my pencil on its side, press really hard, and just start putting some graphite in this diamond area, okay? You want it to be dark enough that you really can't see the white paper really showing through too much. It's going to eat up the lead of your pencil really quickly. So you're probably gonna to need to sharpen it. This does not have to be pretty, okay? Essentially what's going to happen here is you're going to be able to take a colored pencil and trace over the top of this. You're turning it into carbon paper. So what's gonna happen is, is when I follow the edges of the shape with a pen or a colored pencil, and peel it back, it's going to transfer that line onto your canvas. So I'm basically making a traceable. This is called graphite transfer, and you wanna just go ahead and shade in the whole thing. 